love, true love. Um, I've also done a meditation to enhance love in your life. So if you have a partner or relationship already, then this will be enhanced by listening to this meditation uh, every night. I have done a meditation for increasing wealth and prosperity and also finding a job or a better job. Uh, then I'm also doing videos like this which, which will induce a good night's sleep for insomniacs or people who suffer, as I say, with anxiety, depression, stress. Um, so I'm hoping by doing these videos uh, people are really going to enjoy them and like them. Um, I'm not charging anything for them. I think it's just I thoroughly enjoy making these videos, listening to these videos, and I just want to share that with others who might need them. So, as I say, my main purpose is to just help people feel better, um, improve people's quality of life. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I've said to many customers and clients here on my page that I just feel that this is my life's purpose and I've felt this way for a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would do a little bit about me. I have three sons. Um, Spencer, Reese, and Leon. My youngest son, Leon, who is seven, he is severely autistic. And I hate putting a label on him. And I, I don't mean to. It's just, to me, autism is not a bad thing. To me, autism is like awesomeism. <laughs> very very special he's very very special and i think that people with autism or any special needs are here to teach us a lesson they're actually here to help us to grow as, as people um because if you think about it people with special needs cannot be conformed you cannot tell them what to do um they're not going to follow the masses of society and I do believe that um, our souls, each and every one of our souls, spirits, we know who we're going to be before we even come here. I know that may not be everyone's belief, because we, we're all, we all believe in, in our own thing and different things, don't we? It's whatever feels right for the individual. But I believe that we choose where we're coming to. We know how we're going to be brought up, who's going to be our parents and all that sort of thing and I believe we choose that for a reason um, not only um, does my son Leon teach me a lesson my husband and his siblings but I feel Leon's come through with the label autism because he is here to learn certain things on his journey not this life's journey but his journey of his soul of spirit um but yeah, that's that's one of my main beliefs. I don't think we are just here in this life. I believe our spirit is reincarnated many, many times um, as we choose. Um, I believe if there's any lessons that our spirit needs to learn, then we go through to the next life. What learning, putting ourselves in a position and circumstances so we can learn them. Um, for example, um, a rich man in this life may be greedy, uh, may be ungrateful, and when he passes over to non-physical, his soul knows that in the next life he needs to learn to appreciate the small things to life, to realise that money does not bring happiness. Um, and so he may be born into the physical as a, a boy or a girl from a very, very poor family, or he will experience a life that's not so rich until he has learned that lesson. So, yeah, sorry for all that. <laughs> I just thought I'd share that little bit with you. Um, 
as many of you know, that I, I believe, or for me, it's a knowing that we all come from spirit, the divine energy. We are all that divine energy. Like, I see the divine energy as a big cloud, so to speak, and all the little raindrops that come from it are us in the physical bodies. So I do believe that we're all made of the same thing. We are all divine energy. It's just with this day and age in society, we are we get so controlled um, by our conscious thoughts, our conscious mind, that we forget sometimes who we are, why we're really here. And I know some people don't believe in that, and that's fine. But we always, always must listen to our inner voice, our intuition, because that is your divine energy, your higher self, speaking to you, trying to put you on the path that they know will be for your highest good. And for me, I just love spreading the word of that, and that's why I enjoy what I do. I enjoy reading for people, because with my readings, uh, I work with all divination oracles, uh, but with, with my readings, I don't like to tell people what, what to do, or what's set in stone. I like to think that my readings give more guidance and advice about what they could do, what will might happen if they don't change course or if it's a good thing, what, you know, keep going on the path that you're on because things are going to work out. So I like to see this advice from Divine Energy. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> enough of that subject. Um, but what inspired me to start doing videos? Well, first of all, is obviously I listen to these types of videos at night. But I thought it would also be a good way for me to connect with my customers and friends um, on a more intimate, personal basis. And I do apologise if I'm staring up at the screen. It's just my viewfinder's up there and it it keeps catching my eye. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought it'd be a really good way for me to connect with you all. Um, I think for me sometimes when there's a tarot reader or a spellcaster, not putting a face to the name can be quite... Not scary, but you don't know who it is. It could be anybody. And I like people to know I'm just me. You know, I'm just me. There's no hidden agenda. There's, you know, there's no lies or deceit. I am just me. And, um, yeah, and that's what I want people to see, uh, because I not only want to be a reader, a caster, but I also want to, you know, be there for you and feel like you're coming to speak with a friend if you ever need guidance or you want to complain about something or you need advice on a certain area in your life, then I want to feel that you feel com comfortable enough with me to trust in me that you can talk to me about anything and, you know, it's, it's confidential. I just want that trust built up between myself and, and you guys. And I keep looking up at the viewfinder. <laughs> it's, uh, as I say, I've only done a few meditation videos. I'm hoping by doing more videos, then I'll start getting used to where, where to look. <laughs> But, um, hopefully this video has relaxed you, and please 
please keep a lookout for my other videos and meditations. And um, yeah, it's been really nice speaking with you and I think I'll leave it there. Um, so yeah, I mean, leave a comment below and as I say, if anybody wants to receive a meditation, then just let me know, inbox me, email me, contact me via my website or YouTube channel and then just leave your name and what meditation you would like to receive and then I will send you that with pleasure, free of charge of course. So I am just going to leave it there and I wish you all